This is the future. Like I said, on this day, August 15th, everything starts small. That's how it's supposed to start. You know, it's taken so many failures to get even to this point. I'll tell you like this, man. I ain't playing, man. This is exactly what I'm talking about as far as documenting the process. Let me put this out there. All dreams will probably get acquired by like overtime. What's going on guys? Today is August 15, 2024. And we have 78 days before we launch the All Dreams platform worldwide to amateur athletes. It is 8.31 a.m. I feel rejuvenated. It was almost like I went into uh, a, a Michael Jackson time capsule and came back a new person. Okay, because yesterday I was like, yo, man, I do not want to do this documentation stuff anymore. And um, then I heard something on the internet. It's a funny thing about the internet, right? Because you can hear something on the internet and it just tanks you. But then you can also hear something on the inter internet that it ignites you, right? Um, but it was about like incremental progress, you know? And every day making incremental progress. And that's what's happening with this documentation, right? It's, it's, it's like when you start lifting weights. It's incremental progress and you cannot see it. But eventually, that incremental progress just amounts over and over and over and over and over and becomes big results. And that's what's happening with documenting this uh, this, this journey of building a startup. Um, man, what you put into your mind, what you watch, I'm telling you, it shapes you. If you sit and watch bad things, it's going to shape you. Be careful what you watch. Be careful what's in your, your, your algorithm. That's that's real talk. Um, I'm gonna do some reading uh, this morning. Uh, I wanna talk about one thing real fast. As we go into the later stages of this week, and it's been a, such a slow week, honestly. Got threw off by a curveball on Tuesday. Wednesday, the remnants of that was still, you know, it was still there. And the one thing I wanna talk about is, they say like one in seven businesses fail. And everything is perspective and it's how you take that, right? But it's true, it's so hard to start a business and get to three to five to 10 years, to get to exit, it's, it's so hard to do that, right? So many different variables. And um, with all dreams, this is probably like my eighth or ninth business. <laughs> so the odds is there, right? Because we've, yeah, all those businesses, really failed, right? You know, like, Don't Store Records, Swag University, Project Swag, uh, Lee and Leah, the, the uh, Swag Box, uh, Box Truck Company, um, Love Lifestyle Inspiration Clothing. Um, man, it's more, it's more. Uh, so I'm, I'm either on my seventh or eighth, creation and it's took in it, you know it's taken so many failures to get even to this point where i'm like okay i know what i'm doing like even in all of those business i never did customer discovery and if you don't know what customer discovery is man it's <laughs> it's something you need to do before you even say, I'm going to start this business. You need to discover like who are going to be your customers, that value proposition, all of those things is a factor 
And it's not to say that if you don't do it, you won't be successful, but it just increases your chances to be successful, okay? Um, yeah, so with that, with that said, all of those failures, and I'm just gonna keep creating, but I think all dreams is going to be something. And let me put this out there. Let me put this out there. All dreams will probably get acquired by like overtime or something like that. Overtime, Sports Center, Next, ESPN, a media company, for sure. I don't know how long it would take, but like I'm saying that on today, uh, August 15, 2024, like we will be acquired by maybe Nike, you know? Um, one of those players, but I'm thinking like overtime sports, I think it would be perfect for overtime sports, honestly. Uh, and I said I wanted to walk away with 10 mil, maybe 20. All right, I'm thinking too far ahead. I gotta get the platform started first and, and get my first customer. Yeah, all right. Yo, let me get to work and uh, you guys have a good day. Peace. Yeah. What's going on guys so it is 9 24 a.m and i want to talk about something that that's really really fascinating okay it's something that's going on on social media on instagram basically uh and hold on a second let me find it Okay, so it's this, it's this kid. It's this kid from New York City. His name is Troy Hornbeck, okay? This kid, and this is exactly what I'm talking about as far as documenting the process. This is like, this is just, the prime example of what happens when you document your journey and why it's so powerful. Because it's millions of athletes, right? It's millions of athletes. How do you stand out in this terrain? What advantage um, can you gain in this terrain, okay? And if the algorithm does not feed me Troy Hornbeck on Instagram because I'm looking for these athletes like this, I don't even know about this story, okay? So this guy starts documenting his process, road to D1. He's documenting every single day what he's doing, working out, how he eats, his dailies, uh, shooting in his yard, um, very, very fascinating series or whatever. And then in the last week or so, he gets invited to OTE, which is overtime sports. And it's crazy because I was just talking about, like I'm telling you, overtime would be the perfect, per the perfect business to acquire all dreams, like seriously. Um, so he gets invited to the overtime tryout, right? 
Now, Overtime has these different teams around, around the country. But he goes to the tryout in Atlanta. That's where the, the headquarter is based. And he gets pulled aside by one of the coaches from one of the teams, the team in Phoenix, the overtime team in Phoenix. And the, the coach actually offers him uh, a spot, a free agent spot. If you don't know anything about overtime, these kids in this league, they make like a hundred grand per year, or something like that. Like I think it starts at a hundred grand per year, and I think they can make more. Um, but it, it's the point is, it's all from him documenting this road to D one journey, and that's exactly what we were, like. That's what we, our platform is dedicated for: athletes documenting their journey. Like this is just the beginning of this stuff. Like this is just the beginning. And we are positioned at all dreams to have multi, all, all athletes that's amateur do this something similar without having um, an algorithm thing where if you're not in the algorithm, you don't see it. Or if you're not, you know, like if, if, if you're not, if this doesn't get as popular, because another guy that was, uh, it's another guy that was doc, that's, that's documenting his journey, but he's in Australia. And I talked about him in the beginning of the year and he's gained a, a, a following and he's trying to make his varsity team in high school documenting the journey as an athlete I'm telling you this is going to be the future that's why I'm telling you and how we're positioned how we're positioned let me just look look how we're positioned I'll show you <laughs> Because this stuff is so, it's fascinating to me. You know, it's fascinating to me. Look, you go into a vault. Just go, just go into a vault. Right there, you have, in the vault, you have the years. You have the story. Training, highlights. Like these things or whatever, that's, that's, on, that's on our app. And this is dedicated for athletes, it's not Instagram. It's not Instagram. This is dedicated for athletes around the world. It's dedicated for them, right? So when you when you sign on, you're discovering basketball players. You're discovering football players, and they will have their journey filmed, sort of just like this guy is filming his journey. Coaches. Uh, recruiters will be able to find these stories and see exactly what these kids are doing. This is the future. This is the future. Like I said, on this day, August 15th, OTA, I mean, uh, overtime, OTE, they will be the perfect people to acquire all dreams. But let's build for five years and then we'll have a conversation because, um, this is the future. This is the future. What's going on guys? It's still Thursday. Beautiful day here. As you can see. Headed to the park. Try to get a little bit of running. Go bit. Nigo. Try to get a little run in. Um, just got out the phone with my moms. They still in Florida on vacation. And uh, talk about our dreams and love to talk about that with her and um, Rainstorm. It's always a good thing. Love to do that. Um, Man, look. <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you like this, man. I ain't playing, man. Like, I ain't playing at all. You know, and I say that because 
as a founder, you know, that's, that's very accessible. As a YouTuber, that's very accessible. You only see a little bit of views, you know, me reaching out to parents of athletes, people not contacting me back. And what's happening is people are like, man, this nigga not big. Like what he doing ain't big. He a, a founder reaching out to me. Like, look at his YouTube. He ain't big. He got 20 views. He don't even got no motion. But it's so funny because that's how it start, man. And the people that don't know that, they not even supposed to be involved in this journey at all. Like, these parents that think they kid is gonna go to the NBA, they just granted, hey, an NBA ticket, an NBA lottery ticket, or somebody that just think that a business is just supposed to just blow up out of nowhere, or just because I'm accessible right now, because I want to be accessible right now, because I want to talk to the people. Um, always remember, everything starts like this. Everything starts small. That's how it's supposed to start. But I ain't playing. I ain't playing at all. I've never been playing. I'm going to get it. I'm going to make whatever I'm doing successful. And it's by the grace of God. But it's also because I didn't put the work in to do it. Y'all can keep playing if y'all want to. But I ain't never been playing. For real. You only get one time through this joint. And guess what? You ain't got the resources to, to really make shit shake and change your family's life, man. You're gonna have a hard time out here. What's up? You know what I'm saying? Just as, you know what I mean? Just as I pull up, you know what I mean? I see, you know what I mean? Somebody with that all dreams, you know what I mean? What's poppin', man? How you? What's up? Oh, man, you got beat by the little kid, huh? Yeah, you already losing again, huh? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you might want to put your sneakers on, man. You know what I'm saying? You need to stop playing, man. That's what I was talking about in this video, man. I ain't playing. 